This video will walk you through the RPOST registered email track and proof service. This service provides you with a registered receipt email that gives you proof of delivery, content, and time. To send the email, we'll follow three simple steps. The first step is to address the message to whom you would like to have this message received. Also add the subject line. The second step is to upload the file or files from your computer. You may upload one or multiple files with a total file size of up to 200 megabytes. If the email is below 15 megabytes, the message will be delivered right to the recipient's mailbox. If the email is above 15 megabytes, then the service automatically switches over to the large file transfer service. In this case, the email is below 15 megabytes. The third step is to add the message. There are additional features you may add. For example, you may add your signature by clicking on the Add Signature button and use your mouse to script your name. You may also time and date stamp the document with the ARPOS digital seal mark. For this example, we're going to use both of these features so we can show you how those work. The final step, of course, is to press the Send Now button and you've completed sending the track and prove message. You may opt to send another one or you may use other advanced features by clicking on the different tabs at the top of the bar. When the recipient opens up the email in their inbox, they will immediately see a registered email banner at the top of the message. This is so the receiver is aware that this message is of importance and so it stands out compared to other messages. You'll also notice that the message has a signature in blue at the bottom left corner of the message. This is the sender's signature that was drawn during the sending process. The ARPOS digital seal service, which was also used in this email, is located at the top of the message as an attachment. When this is opened, the recipient will be able to view who the originator was and the time and date of transmission. This also allows the receiver, if they choose, to be able to forward and verify this message if there's ever a dispute involving the authorship, authenticity, or content. To verify the message, they simply forward the email to the address verify at rpost.net and the rpost system will then process the message to confirm again authorship, authenticity, and content. The goal of the registered email track and proof service is to provide the sender with proof of delivery content and time. That proof is in the form of a registered receipt email, which you see here. The email contains the entire audit trail, which is the delivery information of the message. That information is translated, so the sender knows what happened by showing the delivery status, in this case delivery and opened, some details, and the times as well, along with other information, including a message ID unique to this one transaction, and any and all attachment details. If there's ever a dispute or a challenge involving this message, this receipt can be verified or authenticated to give you that proof of delivery content and time. And to do that, you simply forward the receipt to verify at rpost.net. The address is also located in the receipt. And the person who submitted the receipt to rpost will get back that proof. It's also important to note that RPOST does not store a copy of the sender's email or attachments. All of the data and information to prove delivery content and time is in fact stored inside the receipt sent back to the sender. When the receipt is verified, RPOST confirms the receipt has not been tampered with in any way. It generates all of the server information showing the delivery of the message and the time, and it also generates from the receipt the original email that was sent and received, including attachments. And again, this is done 
without ARPO storing a copy of the message. If you have any additional questions, you may contact ARPOS at support at ARPOS.com.